Well, here's a report that uh, you should really take notice of because uh, it really could put the uh, peace proposal in the Middle East that much closer. And this is being reported by Israeli National News, uh, and it's entitled, Why on Earth Did Netanyahu Offer Trump a Palestinian State? And I'm just going to skip a few, a few of the uh, paragraphs on it. It says, On Sunday, Netanyahu told 60 Minutes that he remained committed to the two-state solution and hoped the Trump administration would assist in achieving it. I'm willing to negotiate with the Palestinian Authority at any moment, said Netanyahu. I haven't reversed my position. I've said, look, we, all, we will solve this because we want two nation states at peace and uh, with the proper security arrangements. Two states for two peoples. That's where I'm focused. And then he goes on to say, I'd like to have President Trump, when he gets into the White House, help me work on that. I'd like to see if the Arab states can help uh, me achieve it as well. It's a new reality, a new possibility. Yossi Dagan, the uh, Samaria Regional Council head, and a supporter of Trump in the recent election, questioned the logic and behind Netanyahu's dovish turn. These comments were made right after the Republican Party ish removed um, the two-state solution from its own party platform, said Dagan, as a gesture to the state of Israel. I can't be begin to understand why the leader of the national camp would uh, place himself to the left of the U.S. government and offer them what they haven't even asked for. Such statements, Dagan added, were uh, not uh, merely counterproductive, but could be seriously damaging to Israel in the long run, worsening any uh, already or right, worsening an already precarious geopolitical position. These comments at this time could potentially be very dangerous to the state of Israel. Uh, it could bring political disaster and cause us to miss a, a historical opportunity. Well, I'm not so sure how serious that Benjamin Netanyahu is in bringing about a peace accord or creating a Palestinian state. But for me, I take this very seriously, and uh, for him to say something of this nature makes me wonder if, in fact, we are staring in the face of a possible uh, peace accord, especially when he's calling upon the President of the United States and also the Arab world, which to me would culminate for a peace with many, which is described in uh, uh, Daniel 9:27. And frankly, let me say this, I've always believed that this would get done before uh, 2021, which basically, I look to the scriptures found in, in Psalm 90.10, which states that uh, the lifespan or the generation of a man is 70 years and 80 with strength. If you look back at when Israel became a nation, if you look at uh, 2028, that would be the end of 80 years. If you subtract seven years from that to accommodate the uh, tribulation period, that would give you 2021. I've always believed that that was the biblical uh, length of a generation, which the Bible says in Matthew that uh, when Israel becomes a nation, that a generation would not pass away before the Lord would come back for a second coming. So at some point in time, I do look for the evidences of this uh, treaty or peace accord or whatever you want to label it as to come together. Now, certainly, we don't know how it's going to become a seven-year peace accord. If I were to guess, to speculate, I would say that it's going to be a progressive type of peace accord that would roll out uh, completely after seven years and would culminate with East Jerusalem being declared uh, the uh, Palestinian state capital. And at the same time, uh, Israel would also be able to uh, put their state capital in Jerusalem, which would be West Jerusalem. But one thing I guess I'm trying to say the way uh, Trump is coming up with all of his cabinet picks, they all seem to be somewhat of business deal makers. And certainly I still believe the Bible does indicate that the European Union would probably at some point in time be the nation in which the Antichrist would uh, rise up out of. I still can't uh, discount what is happening in the U.S. right now, uh, especially with uh, Netanyahu asking Trump, to create a Palestinian state, and him being the deal maker that he is and that he's already said that that would be the greatest deal he's ever done, I have to believe that there's something to this. And I, like you, will keep my eyes open to see exactly what this does mean. But I just wanted to bring this article to you because of the fact that I believe there must be and probably will be more to it in the future, but we'll have to keep our eyes on it and see if that's the case. 
And certainly, if you don't know the Lord, today is the day of salvation. Don't put it off. Ask the Lord to save you today. You know, it's nothing more than saying, Lord, I surrender my life to you. I forgive me of my sins. I believe that you died on the cross for me. And from this day forward, I will live for you. So I would recommend that you accept Jesus as Savior today. And of course, those Christians, if you are looking for something to give to your lost loved ones, I would recommend that you download a copy of my Tribulation Period Survival Guide. It's written in nine different languages, uh, and it's uh, free to whomever wants to download it. And secondly, I have a paperback version that's written in English uh, that you can personally hand your lost loved one. I would recommend, if you're like me, I like to give uh, people whom I would uh, wish to be saved a copy of this. Unfortunately, um, I can't give everyone that I come in contact with one, but if you do your part in giving your lost loved ones a copy, we can cover a pretty wide uh, area and uh, get as many people as we possibly can. Well, this is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.